along here. Oh, we must hurry. This way, great master, quickly. Oh, no. I shouldn't have come for you. I should have come straight to help him. Do not reproach yourself. I might have saved him. Whoever killed Count Dracula would surely have killed you. The king of the netherworld is lost to us forever. Oh, the countess. Where does she rest? Oh, no, they couldn't have. Oh. It seems the house of Dracula is not at an end. I... I knew of the coming child, great master, but I was sworn to secrecy. You did well, and now the netherworld can rejoice that a vampire child will be born in the manner of the human world. The Countess! She shall have a boy, and he shall inherit his father's throne, and one day shall be crowned the new king of the netherworld. When will this be, great master? Not in your lifetime, Brian, but you must prepare him. I shall undertake that task with great pride. I have been aware for some time now that in a hundred years an occasion of great import will affect the house of Dracula. Coronation will establish our people once more united under one leader. Yes, indeed. Have you... Have you calculated the moment? No, not yet. All I can say is that the crown must be placed upon his head within the next 72 hours. But which moment of the final hour has yet to be revealed? You are to be congratulated, Merlin. Thank you, Baron. But the Count may find the next 72 hours something of an ordeal. Surely not. I hear he's in good health and well prepared for the occasion. He is. But there is something in his astrological chart not yet visible in the stars. But I know it to be there. If there is anything I can do... We must simply be aware and pay him every attention. Count Dove has a lot to thank you for. You are all my children, Baron Frankenstein. But he is special. It is he who will be king. <laughs> <laughs>